Hi guys, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot. Welcome to your weekly All Signs reading. This is an All Signs reading. I am looking at the week of April 8th through to about the 14th, 2024. I am starting with Aries, going all the way through to Pisces. I do want to say welcome to all of you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Also, please give this video a a thumbs up it does help you can also become a member if you are interested in having a private reading all of my information is listed down below all right let's get started let's take a look at what you have coming up for this week Aries April 8th through to about the 14th 2024 Aries Sun Moon rising and Venus signs Aries all right, first card out is the Three of Cups. Aries. I do want to say happy birthday, Aries, if you happen to have a birthday this week. Also, we have the solar eclipse taking place here right at the start of the week. So the energy is very strong okay so we have the three of cups with justice you guys definitely could be celebrating something here it may be like a legal win for some of you i mean we have you looking right at this king of wands three of wands yes okay the tower the eight of pentacles the queen of cups the two of pentacles overall energy for the week is the seven of pentacles. So something that you've waited on Aries is coming in. It could be tax money for some of you definitely. Some of you definitely could be um, working on a house. Doing something to a house. Could, of course, be purchasing a house, selling a house, some of you fixing a house up to sell. Okay, we have the Page of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, news is coming in. I feel like for some of you, it's already been delayed. Yes, I know Mercury's retrograde, but for those of you where this has been something that's been ongoing, like a legal matter, uh, or maybe even waiting for like some tax money to come in. I feel like you've been waiting. There's already been a delay. And so I see a paradigm shift. So the energy is going to shift suddenly. So get ready. <laughs> That's really what I want to say, which we see you doing that with the seven of coins here. We do see you getting ready. Um, but I have this king of wands here. So it doesn't matter if you're male, female, it doesn't matter. This is fire energy here. I see you, Aries, and this is very strong, Aries, showing up here in the reading. I see you looking over here at Justice and the Three of Cups. So this is good news coming in. This could be like a legal resolution or, you know, something with a contract, but it's good news. Um, three of Cups first card out. We see you celebrating this. So even if something went wrong, so I really want to say that if there was maybe some bad news prior or uh, a delay and that could have gotten you down, um, that could have been discouraging. We see forward movement, yeah. There's messages coming in. So if something went wrong prior, sometimes, you know, that's a good thing. That can be like the universe um, stepping in. So maybe, you know, certain things had to happen, you know, in a certain order. But yeah, eight of wands, nine of wands, look at this. This is Leo, so heavy Leo coming through. A lot of fire, Sagittarius as well, 
Nine of Swords, Three of Pentacles, The World. Yeah, something is done. The Hierophant. Interesting. Some of you may have been working at night. That could be coming to an end. Others, you've been incredibly stressed out. I see you being strong. So this is you definitely having strong boundaries, but this is also someone who's incredibly strong. They're persevering. They're not giving up. So you dealt with this delay, or maybe for some of you, um, you could have even received some sort of bad news, but this is you persevering. You're not giving up. And with the Seven of Pentacles as the overall energy, Aries, this is like you maybe switching things up. You could be even... For some of you, like going back to the drawing board here with a project, this is you shaking things up with the tower. I mean, this would be in a big way. So, yeah, maybe you're changing your mind about something here. You're definitely doing something different. Two of coins here. And the three of wands, which is all about exploring like new territory, trying new things, branching out. If you're a business owner, yeah, I mean, you definitely could be like branching out, venturing into like new areas. Maybe some of you, um, you could be like switching it up and just deciding to maybe purchase a property in a certain area, something like that. With justice here, you could be signing something. Getting things um, like an order. With the seven of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. Working with others. You have a couple of threes here. Yeah, so teamwork is definitely being highlighted. Could be working with a Libra. Could be working with possibly... Uh, Queen of Cups, so Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have a lot of fire. So maybe another fire sign. But yeah, I see you working on something. And um, it's going to be worth the wait. This is definitely something that is going to be worth the wait. But there is a paradigm shift here. Um, I don't feel like this is a bad tower. I really don't. For some of you, it's a house. I see you working on a house. For others, I think you're switching things up here. All right, let's get you an overall guidance card for Aries for the week. For some of you, I see you being like very adaptable here. Um, you could be dealing with like a little bit of a chaotic situation or environment. There's a lot going on around you, but I see you handling the situation very well. All right, what is the overall guidance for Aries, please, for this week. Some of you are making changes um, that are going to affect you like down the road. So long-term changes, where you're going to live, um, where you're going to work, things like that. Thinking long-term you could be signing something. Maybe some of you are making some changes to like your will or insurance, anything like that. Poised, 48, we have poised, and then we have 15, message in a bottle. So yeah, we've seen that at the bottom of the deck. News is coming, page of swords, eight of wands, news is coming in. So with this uh, queen of cups energy here, showing up when you hear this news when you receive this message with the queen of cups showing up um you're being advised to listen to your intuition follow your heart but also that's a softer energy a more compassionate understanding energy and we have poised here so 
we also have strength at the bottom of the deck. So this could be you showing um, grace being very poised here. When you hear this, um, and it may be a shock, it definitely may be a shock, but I feel like in the long run, this is good. And we do see you planning long term. Yeah, look at this. You're blessed, Aries. This is 22. Blessed. For many of you, this is your hard work paying off with justice here, seven of coins, eight of coins, your hard work is about to pay off and it's because you deserve it. So celebrate yourself, celebrate what you've been working on, how hard you've been working, enjoy it. Enjoy the here and now, have a little fun. If all you've been doing has been working, 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 have a little fun. Let's get you guidance on the love front for Aries. Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world and then love yourself first. I feel like the message here is take some time for yourself. Um, some of you, you've been working very hard and so take some time, Queen of Cups, King of Wands, if you're partnered, it may be a good idea to like get away, go somewhere, relax, retreat. This does say your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. All right, let's see who you're dealing with. Who is Aries dealing with this week? Libra. Libra is definitely coming through. And then Scorpio. Yeah, Libra and Scorpio coming through. All right, Aries, I hope that you find this reading helpful. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. If you're interested in having a private reading, all of my information is listed down below. All right, let's move on. All right, hi Taurus, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. I am looking at the week of April 8th through to about the 14th, 2024. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, Taurus. What does Taurus have coming up for this week, please, Taurus? Eight of Wands, first card out. Travel could be in the cards for some of you. Taurus. What does Taurus have coming up for this week? Taurus. All right, we have the Page of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. Page of Swords, the Four of Cups, the Five of Cups, Death, the Ten of Cups, the Star, the King of Cups, overall energy is the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands. So the very first thing that I'm getting towards for you guys is real estate as well. So maybe I'm reading for some Aries, Taurus, Cuspers, or maybe you're dealing with an Aries, or maybe you have Aries in your chart. Um, but yeah, I'm getting real estate. Um, that was something I got with them as well. A property being significant. Um, yeah, real estate. We have the Four of Wands here at the bottom of the deck. 
Yeah, there definitely could be like some sort of event or celebration that's coming up. Maybe it's this emperor's. So you could be dealing with an Aries or if not an Aries, really, they could be any sign. This is someone who's coming up in their masculine energy. That could be you, Taurus, as well. You could be stepping into your power Wow, look at this though. So you have the Four of Wands, the Seven of Swords, the Emperor. So you have multiple fours. You have the Six of Wands with the Six of Swords. So you've got the fours. Yes, you've got the seven in there. <laughs> seven of Swords, sneaky over here, but um, you've got the fours, you've got the sixes. This is a really nice energy that's coming in. So what I'm seeing here is the energy was maybe a little, um, eh, a little scattered, um, for some of you difficult, there could have been a loss, definitely, uh, the energy was a little challenging, but we see great change coming in, and I really like the fours, I like the sixes, you also have the empress here, so the energy is actually balancing out. So we've got the Emperor and the Empress coming through here at the bottom of the deck. Along with this um, Ace of Coins here, planting a seed for some of you, money coming in, Nine of Pentacles, overall energy. But this is very nice. So if you're married, you could be taking a trip. You could be going somewhere. If you're single and you're dealing with an Emperor or an Empress, maybe they're coming to see you because I see a lot of attention coming your way. But I also see travel, so maybe they're at a distance. You could be going to see them, or they could be coming to see you. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is not always just a deceptive energy. It's really not. It can be avoidance. So maybe this is someone that you've been avoiding or something like that or vice versa. But Nine of Pentacles here is the overall energy. This is very nice. So money's coming in. Um, there's an improvement with money. So maybe there was a delay, but the very first thing that I got was this is the energy shifting here. First card out, Eight of Wands. This is an energy shift. So things being delayed, um, things taking forever, um, messages not coming in, not reaching you. There were some delays, which I know Mercury's retrograde, but for those of you that started a project um, prior, uh, Mercury retrograde is also a time where you can finish up those projects or anything that you were working on prior, you can finally um, get it done. And so, yeah, the wait is over. That's really what I want to say. Eight of Wands, death. This is good news. This is going to make you, your family, for some of you, your community, very happy with the Ten of Cups here. And again, there could have been some sort of loss or... Maybe some of you Torians feel like you missed some sort of opportunity. That's a possibility. That's not all of you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. But yeah, this for me, this combination can talk about like a missed opportunity. But if it's meant for you, it's not really missed, Taurus, because, you know, what's yours is yours. If it's meant for you, it will come back your way. And so it's up to you to recognize it when it is in front of you. Four of Cups. The Five of Cups um, can be disappointment. So maybe something didn't work out the way that you were hoping. The star. Something didn't work out the way that you were hoping. But I do still see things working out. Um... This could be a wish that's coming true. I mean, you've got the star here, Taurus. The star with the Ten of Cups, overall energy, Nine of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands here at the bottom of the deck. So, I mean, this is a happy situation. This is my happy home card. And so, money is coming in. There is a shift here. There is travel. Maybe some of you have been waiting to move. I'm just seeing what else I'm getting.
This also can be a change, uh, maybe within your career, for some of you, this can be a change at work. And you could be dealing with a water sign. We have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, showing up with the King of Cups, the star. This could be an Aquarius for some of you. But the King of Cups is someone who's very generous, very emotional. This is an emotional being. Do they show it? No, not necessarily. Sometimes. You could be dealing with someone who's been hurt. So for some Taurians, this King of Cups can be somebody who is maybe healing. Uh, if you resonate more with the masculine, this can be you, Taurus. Maybe you're emotionally healing. Maybe you're newly single. A relationship could have just ended for some Taurians. Not all of you, but for some of you, a relationship could have ended with death in the Ten of Cups. Or there could have been a loss in your family. The Nine of Pentacles can sometimes speak about an inheritance. Not always, but sometimes. You may not trust possibly an emperor or you may not trust your family. You know, I'm getting a ton of different messages here with this. But in general, I feel like the energy is shifting it's positive stay positive no matter what you dealt with prior stay positive and i see an improvement here with your finances all right let's get you in a world guidance card taurus for the week taurus what is the guidance yin yin is coming through number two so that is divine feminine energy and then breathe Number 29. So maybe you're dealing with a female. You may be female. Or you resonate more with the feminine energy here. But yeah, this is saying to breathe. Love yourself. Treat yourself. Um, this is you looking good, feeling good here. You've got the star. Some of you definitely could be recovering. Maybe someone let you down emotionally. That's definitely a possibility for some of you. We do have Loyal Heart at the bottom of the deck. It's 35. So if you are single, if you're newly single, I do see love lined up for you. So somebody brand new could be coming in. Dealing with divine timing, of course. But yeah, maybe you need time to heal. Maybe they need time to heal. But yeah, this is somebody coming in that is going to be loyal to you, devoted to you, Taurus, which you need that as an earth sign, as a Taurus. Um, yeah, so this could be what you're calling in if you are single, somebody who's on your level, someone who is going to be loyal and faithful, which you're a Taurus. Taurians are very, so of course... That varies. It depends on what you have in your chart. But Taurians in general, they're one of the most loyal signs. All right. So let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And then we do have pay attention to the red flags. This is guidance on the love front. So take it slow. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So sometimes the message here for me with this card is to just look around. Not necessarily for red flags. For some of you it could be. But there are going to be signs and omens around you. Um, with this card, let go of control issues. Allow things to happen organically. But yeah, I see you looking good, feeling good. Nine of Pentacles. This is you knowing your worth. Who is Taurus dealing with? Who is Taurus dealing with? Very strong Scorpio here. Scorpio and Aquarius coming through. We also have this King of Cups. So it could be Pisces, could be Cancer. 
really could be any sign. Let's see. Who's Taurus dealing with? We have Capricorn and then Virgo. So maybe another Earth sign. All right, Taurus, so I hope that you find this reading helpful. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. All right, let's move on. All right, Gemini. Hi, Gemini. This is Tracy from Northeast Tarot. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading, Gemini. Sun, moon, and rising signs, Gemini. First card out, and it just flew right out, is the Knight of Pentacles. What does Gemini have coming up for this week, please, Gemini? Sun, moon, there you go, ear energy, king of swords showing up. What does Gemini? Okay. Two of wands was the next card. I'm gonna stick these back in, but two of wands did come out first, followed by the others. So there definitely could be a decision that is needed. You could be making plans. For some of you, you could be taking your sweet time here when it comes to making a decision. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, because you don't know. You need more information. You don't know. Two of Wands and Two of Swords. This is some Geminis. You're, you're feeling torn. Yeah, as far as growing, um, exploring, what you should do next. I'm reading for some Geminis. You're on the fence. You don't know exactly what you should do. Also, it could be waiting for information, waiting for maybe documents or could be um, a company, an organization, could be waiting on them. Seven of Cups, it did land in the reverse. And so there is no more deception or illusion around a particular matter. I think that that news, that information that you're waiting on is coming in. Yeah, look at that. Nine of Pentacles, overall energy, eight of Wands. So this is you definitely coming out of maybe a confusing situation, a confusing energy. If you were feeling scattered and all over the place, not knowing what you should do next. I think that options are opening up, um, better options. Some of you, you could be narrowing it down here and you're finally about to move forward, maybe in a particular direction. Yeah, look at that queen of pentacles. So follow the money, <laughs> Gemini. That's what some of you are doing, honestly. So maybe, you know, you're trying to change jobs. Um, you could have been looking at a bunch of options and maybe even thinking to yourself, you know, none of these aren't that good. Um, this is not what I want. But I feel like something is changing here. Something's about to happen. So maybe an option opens up and it's a really good one. Um, and so this is you acting. This is you taking action. Eight of Wands, messages coming in. It can be a lot of communication. So emails, text messages, um, a lot of back and forth communication. And I feel like I, I am reading for some Geminis where you've been on the fence uh, or you felt stuck, maybe dealing with like a stalemate. Um, but now you have possibilities and now you, you also, Gemini, are maybe taking back your power. Maybe you're working with a professional. Um, the ball is in your court. I feel like the power is in your hands, basically, which prior you definitely may not have felt that. But yeah, um, for many of you, I feel like this is within your career. This is like a new job or a new possibilities in your career that are opening up for some of you can be like a new stream of income or, or anything like that. And it's, it's very good. Um, there's money coming in. Yeah. 
this is a level up. So for some of you Geminis, this is a level up within your career. So you could be moving up within the company if you work for a large company. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Queen of Pentacles, the world. I mean, this is success. For some of you, this is like major success. So um, with this King of Swords, Seven of Cups, narrowing down the options here, what's good, what isn't good, um, maybe like narrowing it down to two particular options or two different paths and then going from there. Um, this is definitely some really nice energy and we see you persevering. So some of you definitely may feel like wounded from the past, you're exhausted, but you're ready to go. Look at this. So King of Wands, Nine of Wands, Knight of Wands, you're ready to go. So yeah, if you are changing jobs, moving up within the company, I mean, maybe for some of you, you do have to travel here. This can be like a long distance move. Maybe you have to move house or maybe you're like traveling to a different building uh, something like that. You could be working out of a different building, but yeah, this is a level up in some way. This is an upgrade. Yeah. So this is very exciting. I mean, this is exciting energy. I'm excited for you, Gemini, uh, queen of pentacles, the world, this is you becoming for some of you. Money is about to come in. You've worked very, very hard for this Knight of pentacles first card out. Also the energy this is slow growth, a slow growing situation, but it's going to benefit you in the long term with the three of wands. So yeah, you, you've been doing what, you know, you should be doing what you were told, what the group, the organization wants with the Hierophant, very, very focused King of Swords. And so, yeah, I mean, this, this is great. So there's no more blockage. Um, if you were having difficulties with maybe narrowing it down or making a decision, that's no more. This is an energy shift. Uh, if you've been waiting on maybe like an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, very strong Taurus here. If you've been waiting on someone to reach out to you, that's coming in. This is communication somebody in a position of power so maybe that's your boss or a higher up somebody could be reaching out to you all right let's get you an overall guidance card for gemini for the week On the love front, I could be reading for some Geminis. We are, maybe you're interested in someone. There could be somebody that you're checking out. You don't know if they're single. So I feel like that information is going to come to light. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is number 10. Unfinished Symphony. Unfinished Symphony. So yeah, it's interesting. So someone that you may not have been talking to or there were problems with communication because I feel like when this card came out, I couldn't get the words out. So, um, yeah, somebody where they couldn't maybe reply back to you or there were problems with communication, um, something was unfinished. So, yeah, on the love front, maybe you've been wondering if someone is single or they've been wondering that about you, Gemini. Ooh, look at that. So this is number 10 and this is nine at the bottom of the deck. So we have nine and 10, Treasure Island. And notice how there's a turtle here. So turtles move really slow. So maybe you, or maybe the person you're dealing with, somebody could have been moving like very slow here. Very, very slow, but there's communication and there's a shift here. Yeah, this is definitely love for some of you. So for many of you, I feel like it's money, it's career, but it's definitely going to be love for other Geminis. Yeah, so you're moving towards some sort of blessing, something beautiful. Okay. 
What is the guidance for Gemini on the left front? Worth waiting for. So divine timing is at work in your love life and then unrequited. So you could have been dealing with an unrequited love situation. For some of you, it may have felt unrequited prior. But this person's coming back around. So maybe you needed to wait. Maybe things needed to fall in place. It may have felt unrequited. It may not have necessarily been unrequited. It's just maybe, you know, maybe this person just got out of a relationship. Or maybe you did. Um, yeah, so that's interesting. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a reconciliation. There's unfinished business here. So somebody is coming back your way. Uh, if you were interested in someone and you felt like they were not interested back, maybe, you know, the timing wasn't right with worth waiting for. The timing just wasn't right. But now there's like a second chance to get it right or to see if there really is potential here. Gemini. And then for those of you where this is strictly career, I think that um, some of you, I mean, you could be going back to an old job or you could be moving into a new position, but maybe some skills that you picked up prior um, in your past are going to be helpful now. All right, let's see. Who is Gemini dealing with? Aquarius, that could be the King of Swords, and then we have Earth, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. All right, Gemini, I hope that you find this reading helpful. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. All right, let's move on. Hi, Cancer. This is Tracy from Northeast Tarot. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. I am looking at the week of April 8th through to about the 14th, 2024. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What does Cancer have coming up for this week? We did just have the moon flip out with strength. So two majors coming out right away, Cancer. There's the Five of Cups. Six of Cups cards are just coming right out for you. What does Cancer have coming out for this week, please, Cancer? The Emperor, okay. Just seen the devil at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, the Hanged Man. Overall energy is the Two of Wands. All right, so this is you making plans. You could be weighing the options here at this time. When it comes to making some changes or manifesting something new, you have the magician at the bottom of the deck. So a lot of majors here, a lot of major kind of energy. But I do see you, I do see you taking a moment here. So the two of wands for many of you is you making plans. You could be weighing the options. You could be weighing the pros and cons here um, with a particular matter, but I do see a weight. So four of swords and the hanged man, this is a break. This is you pulling back your energy. You could be trying to see a situation from a different perspective. You could definitely be thinking about the past cancers do like to reflect Five of Cups, Six of Cups, that energy is, is here. 
Um, so yeah, you could be thinking about the past a lot. In particular, when you're alone, maybe at night when you're in bed, I see you thinking about the past. So maybe you have like some unfinished business or you, you're you still processing maybe something that went down in the past. You're not over it. Maybe you're still healing. It may have something to do with an emperor. We have Leo, we have Aries, possibly Pisces, strong Pisces here. And then we also have uh, Gemini, Virgo. Yeah, so there was a loss. Ten of Swords. Some of you may feel cheated or manipulated, used, betrayed. So yeah, it could be by an emperor or by someone here. And so we do see you very protective of yourself. Look at this. So yeah, this is you, um, Cancer, very closed off. I see you protecting yourself, protecting your heart. You don't want to get hurt again. So if something ended, if something left your life, I think you're still grieving. You're definitely still thinking about the past. But because of this experience, for some of you, it could even be like multiple experiences. Um feeling like you've been done wrong, um, maybe by a bunch of different people at different times in your life, um, whatever it is. And so right now, I do see you very protective of yourself, your heart, your feelings. Um, I do not see you opening up at this time. I think you're holding a lot in you may feel like someone betrayed you. You're planning long term. This could be to leave, to leave a situation, to leave a relationship. If you're still like currently with someone, um, I'm reading for some cancers, you definitely could be thinking about leaving. This could be a family like dynamic for some of you, you may feel like you've had enough. Um, you've reached your limit. Uh, you could be making plans here as far as like leaving that environment. It definitely may be a little scary. I'm reading for some cancers where you will have to like conquer your fears here, but I, I see you being able to do this. So yeah, um, the emperor for for some of you, cancers can be you stepping into your power. Some of you are very strong. Maybe you don't realize how strong you are because, you know, you just dealt with some sort of trauma or loss. Some of you are definitely feeling like a little, a little maybe hopeless or discouraged at the moment, but you're healing, you're healing. So when you're ready, you do have everything you need to make changes, to create change in your life. Yeah, some of you, you could be having some very vivid dreams at the moment. This is a lot of psychic energy. Yeah, some of you having some visions um, could be about yourself, your life, your future, um, your family, your community. But let's get you an overall guidance card for cancer. What is the overall guidance for this week for Cancer, please? Mm -hmm. 
We have two cards upright. These are not upright. Interesting. We have number eight, the tribe at the bottom. So 10 of pentacles here. Now the tribe is showing up. So your community, your family, your tribe is significant. Um, maybe some of you have somebody in your tribe that is like a very strong influence. But with the moon being the first card out, I would just be careful of that. Not all is known. Something definitely could be hidden. There could be like a hidden agenda here. All right, so number 16, all that glitters isn't gold. And then we have number 14, truth be told. Yeah, so that's interesting. You may have someone around you that is actually a very, very strong influence. Maybe you realize that or maybe you don't. Your intuition, though, is, is on point or it's going to be on point here. So pull back. I really feel like that's needed. Pull back. Spend some time alone. Um, all that glitters isn't gold. So maybe somebody um, seems a certain way or maybe they're like painting a picture that's not accurate. It could be something like that. But the truth is coming out. Also, I really want to say, listen, listen to the words that people are using. Words are very important. Oftentimes, you don't have to do anything. You have the four of swords and the hanged man here. So if there's something that you're wondering about, um, just observe, just listen. Things will come to light on their own. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So let things happen organically. What is the guidance for cancer? What is the guidance for cancer on the love front? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And then we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning. So five of cups, six of cups. Somebody could be trying to come back. Mercury is retrograde. So that does tend to happen. So if you are like considering... Um, maybe reuniting with someone. Yes, keep an open mind, but I think that not all is known and you're definitely being guided to take things slow. Maybe on the surface, things may look a certain way. Something may look like it's amazing, but that doesn't mean that it is. All right. For some of you, this could be even someone that you've dealt with many times. On the love front, maybe this person comes and goes and they may be trying to come back in at this time. But if there's a history here, you definitely have to look at that. All right, who is Cancer dealing with? Who is Cancer dealing with? We have Aquarius and then Earth, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. All right, Cancer. So I hope that you find this reading helpful. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed.
All right. Hi, Leo. This is Tracy from Northeast Tarot. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. I am looking at the week of April 8th through to about the 14th, 2024. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. First card out is the Nine of Wands. It did technically come out in the reverse. So maybe some of you are giving up. You could be quitting something. Let's see. Knight of Pentacles. Leo, what does Leo have coming up for this week? The tower in the reverse. So there's a paradigm shift here, a shakeup. Five of coins. Temperance. Ooh, the devil. The Ten of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles. Overall energy is the Queen of Wands. The Ace of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Very interesting, very specific spread here. So if it doesn't resonate, Leo, just watch your other signs. But we do have the Queen of Wands as the overall energy. So this is your, your fire energy coming through. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. This is a very passionate energy. And um, for some of you, Leos, I'm even getting anger. So I'm definitely reading for some Leos that you may be upset. This week, someone or something may upset you. I do see you balancing your emotions. You do have temperance here upright. So this is you definitely um, balancing your emotions. I do see you grounding your energy. But you may hear something, you may see something. Yeah, for many of you, you're gonna hear something. There's some sort of news or communication that's coming in. Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands. News coming in fast. An energy shift. This isn't a disaster, it's not. You had some reversals here. So, for some of you Leos, this could be you kind of like escaping a disaster, I wanna say, um, avoiding a disaster. Maybe some of you are moving. There's the Ten of Swords. You could be dealing with a Cancer. Maybe some of you are Cuspers. But yeah, some of you Leos, you're moving. You could be moving house. You could be moving to another country. Maybe you feel like you're um, escaping the devil. Uh, some of you Leos, you could have been like in a very toxic environment not the healthiest environment, but this is travel. For some of you, this is long distance travel. So I'm definitely reading for some Leos where you could be moving to another country, another state. You're done, something is done. There could have been abuse. I mean, I can read this a hundred different ways. So for some Leos, you're maybe escaping like abusive, uh, an abusive relationship or um, a toxic environment. With this Ace of Swords here, this is you like severing those bonds, those chains. Um, yeah. 
I really feel like you're freeing yourself. You're getting out of some sort of toxic environment. And you're very much being gu guided here. So um, know that you're not alone. This is definitely some tough energy. Um, I'm reading for some Leos where you're going through it. You're very much being guided though. If you have someone around you that you don't trust, um, you need to like stand firm, protect yourself, um, continue to have very strong boundaries. I want to say that. Um, don't let your guard down if you're still around people that maybe um, are not the best. So don't let your guard down. You've got the queen of wands here. So this is someone who has a lot of energy. Um, you may be very attractive. Some of you could be paying more attention to your looks here at this time. So you may have um, some haters, some jealous energy here around you. I'm just seeing what I'm getting here. We have Sagittarius, Capricorn, possibly Aries, Scorpio. We have some Earth energy here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. For some of you, a property may be significant. But those of you that are moving, some of you are moving um, because a property was not safe. That's what I'm getting here. So I'm reading for some Leos where you're moving because um, something wasn't right. That's what I'm getting. You're being guided away from the devil. So um, some of you were living in like a toxic environment and that could be for many, many different readings. This is just a general reading. I feel like for some of you, it was maybe the environment, like the people that lived in the area, the community was bad. It, maybe it was a bad neighborhood, something like that. But then for others, I'm getting something actually may have been wrong with the building so it could have been like mold it could have been a number of different things it was the actual environment the building for some of you something wasn't right and so there needs to be a move here there needs to be movement travel for some of you moving house and with the Queen of Wands being in this position, um, this is an action card. So don't give up. Keep trying. You may be making very slow progress here with the situation. For some of you, you could be detoxing. You could be trying to like cleanse your body trying to heal and if this isn't you this could be someone around you this could be a family member you may be helping someone who's in a situation like this if it's not you uh ten of cups nine of coins so yeah, if you are able to help someone, you may have someone around you who's struggling. Maybe someone around you needs a place to live or they may need to borrow some money. Um, yeah, this is you helping them. Or at, at least you're, you're trying to. Um, You could be trying to protect this person. But with the world, I mean, this is a level up. This is a level up.
For some of you, this could be somebody that has some sort of addiction. Maybe you're trying to help them. For others, maybe somebody is in jail. We have judication here, number 30. And so looking at the devil, we have this card that talks about um, court legal matters. Maybe somebody is in jail. Maybe they need you to bail them out. It could be something like that. Others, uh, maybe maybe you're going to be taking someone to court. So if somebody did something to you with the devil, if there was some sort of abuse or mistreatment, something like that, for some of you, this can be like a landlord sort of situation here. Maybe someone did something wrong here. So you may need to look at that. Let's take a look at the tower for Leo. Some of you Leos, you could be out money. You're out money because maybe you rented a place and maybe things were not like up to code. Um, maybe something happened there while you were there. There's something like that going on here. Main mail and change. I feel like a change is needed. You are making that change. Could be you and a main mail. Bad health, yeah. So somebody isn't well. Somebody needs help. All right, let's get you an overall guidance card for Leo. We have 17, the fates, 23, peace, and then 52, mending. So mending a relationship. We see this peaceful energy coming in, and it's meant to be with the fates. So stay positive. For me, this is similar, similar vibes to the star. And so stay positive. You could be mending a relationship. For others, this can be you healing. So maybe, maybe you have a family member or uh, child, children, you went through something, you dealt with this toxic energy, but I feel like this is you recovering. This is you moving forward. Yeah, you're blessed. 22. All right, what is the guidance on the love front for Leo? What is the guidance? Wedding. This situation involves marriage and worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Very interesting. So maybe some of you Leos are married or the person that you're dealing with maybe was married or they're married. They could be trying to get out of that. Um, for others, you know, maybe you're moving towards marriage or a long term relationship. You've got the nine of pentacles with the ten of cups. So yeah, you could be moving towards getting married. Interesting. All right. Who is Leo dealing with? Sagittarius and then water. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. All right, Leo, so I hope that you find this reading helpful. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed.
All right, let's move on. All right, Virgo. Hi, Virgo. This is Tracy from Northeast Tarot. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. I am looking at the week of April 8th through to about the 14th, 2024. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What does Virgo have coming up? Okay, we have the Ace of Cups with the Five of Cups. What does Virgo have coming up for this week, please? Virgo. The Three of Wands, the Moon, the Star, lots of healing energy coming in, the Eight of Cups, Ace of Wands, it did land in the reverse. The Ten of Cups. What is the overall energy for Virgo, please? What is the overall energy? The Queen of Wands, she did land in the reverse as well. So there is definitely, for some of you, like a lack of inspiration or a lack of energy. You can change this. It's just minor kind of energy. You can change that. You have the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. There could be a lack of energy, a lack of confidence even. This could be a number of different things. Uh, you do have a lot of emotional energy. So emotions are definitely riding high for many of you Virgos at the moment. Um, very emotional. For some of you, I mean, you may get triggered easily at this time. So keep that in mind. Definitely needing a moment here to like ground your energy. Oh, you've got the sixes as well. Six of wands, six of swords, nine of pentacles, king of cups, the hanged man. Maybe you're dealing with the Pisces, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but another sign had the sixes. I believe they had sixes and fours. I'm not sure if it was... Gemini or Aries, uh, I'm, I'm not sure what sign had that. So watch your other signs, but this is very good. I mean, this is a very harmonious energy. Nine of Pentacles. So I do see money coming in. I do see growth and expansion. This could be within your career, but right now I'm reading for some Virgos where I think you're doing some soul searching here. Others, you're healing. There was some sort of disappointment here with the Five of Cups, some sort of loss or disappointment. You're, you're not completely over this so because you're not completely over this and you're going through the healing process I think that I'm reading for some Virgos we are you're maybe finding it like a little hard here to get to get motivated here so I'm getting like this kind of in and out sort of energy, like one minute you're inspired, you're open, you're ready, you're energized, and then 
um, the next moment you kind of lose steam. So it's, it's like hot and cold sort of energy. That's really what I'm getting. And, you know, if you're experiencing that, it's because you're not completely healed from something that went down in the past. Something's bothering you. Um, you have this like a little bit more of like a heavier emotional energy here. Something's on your mind. Um, something may be weighing on you. Or there's this uncertainty. You could be waiting on clarity. Yeah, feeling a little uh, scattered. Yeah. I feel like you don't feel like yourself, you know, and that could be with what's, you know, going on with the planets and everything. I mean, I'm reading for some Virgos where you're just not feeling like yourself here. But the first card that came out is the Ace of Cups. You've got the star, you've got the Ace of Cups. You do have the Ace of Wands. It did land in the reverse. But I feel like that's because um, the timing is a little off. You need you need a little bit more time. You will turn this upright. Uh, for some of you, you could be waiting for some clarity to come in, some news, some information. Others, I feel like maybe you're preparing yourself. So you have this new possibility or even possibilities in front of you. And I feel like you're getting ready. You're preparing yourself to embark on this, on this journey. And so I feel like you're going to get there. You will. And when you finally do, you have this beautiful, harmonious, uh, successful energy. This victorious energy that's coming in. So yeah, I mean, this could be you moving up within your career. I do see you um, feeling like very proud of yourself here. Eight of Cups can be you making space. So letting go of whatever is no longer serving you. Creating that space so you can grow and expand and try new things. You have the Ten of Cups here. Ten of Cups. You have the Moon. For some of you, this can be a new relationship. A new love. But maybe you don't want to get hurt again. There's a lot of fear here. Some of you are scared. Maybe... Um, not sure if you should get to know someone. But let's get you an overall guidance card. Your intuition is definitely speaking to you. Um, you've got this very strong psychic energy here. Try to stay positive. Uh, continue on making space. Uh, for some of you... I feel like this is either a lack of confidence or a lack of energy, a lack of uh, feeling motivated, but that's going to turn around. That's going to turn around. What is the overall guidance for Virgo, please, for this week? What is the overall guidance? We have deep knowing 43. Yeah, so there's a deep knowing. I just mentioned strong psychic energy here. We have 27 exchanging gifts. Interesting. 
and then building blocks 28. So with building blocks, um, things are falling into place. So you could be um, like crossing paths with the right people, but things are falling into place. Uh, you could be giving someone something or somebody could be giving you a gift. This is also talking about like an equal exchange. And so if you are dealing with another person, there needs to be that equal exchange here. So um, needing to get on the same page, but, but also both of you giving to this, working together, building blocks. Listen to your intuition. Yeah, we have milk and honey at the bottom of the deck. And it's 51. So yeah, this is talking about um, being sweet. Um, truth be told. Message in a bottle. So yeah, maybe, maybe... Maybe some of you, you could be actually receiving like a compliment or a gift. You could be receiving something, Virgo, here at this time. And, you know, all eyes are on you. Um, and if this is like a friend or if this is from your partner, uh, I, I feel like what's needed is that equal exchange. And so if somebody's giving you something, if someone's helping you, just make sure that, you know, you are uh, reciprocating that. Um, you attract more flies with honey, right? And so I feel like um, there needs to be that sweetness, that generosity, Let's see, what is the guidance for Virgo on the love front? Wedding. Okay, so maybe you're moving towards getting married. <laughs> um, or if not, getting married. I mean, this could be like a, a very serious, committed relationship. So this does say the situation involves marriage, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. And so if you are already with someone... Again, you attract more flies with honey. And so I feel like there needs to be this, this softer sort of energy here. First card out, Ace of Cups, this, this open, um, receptive energy. Maybe someone is going to come forward with a gift. That's a possibility. Maybe something went down. They're sorry. This could be a learning experience for you, for both of you. Engagement. I mean, some of you getting back together. Oh, this card flipped over. Keep an open mind. So yeah, something went down, but I see things ascending. I see you moving past that. Um, if you're single, I think there's opportunities for love here. You're definitely going to have to listen to your intuition here on this one, but you could be healing from a past relationship. They could be healing from a past relationship. So what's needed is working together. Let's see, who is Virgo dealing with? You've got two aces here and you've got the star. Libra and then ear so 
Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And Scorpio wanted to show up as well. So you could be dealing with an air sign. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. All right, Virgo. So I hope that you find this reading helpful. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. All right, let's move on. Hi, Libra. This is Tracy from Northeast Tarot. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. I am looking at the week of April 8th through to about the 14th, 2024. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So first card out, Libra, is the Three of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, Sevens maybe significant, Libra. Let's see, what does Libra have coming up for this week, please, Libra? Ten of Wands, King of Wands. Six of Wands in the reverse. So you're waiting, could be waiting on a fire sign for sure. Waiting for them to reach out. They may have something ongoing. They could be dealing with like a past matter. Two of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the Moon, overall energy, Six of Cups. Some of you waiting to reunite with somebody. There's a lot of waiting. Don't shoot the messenger, okay, Libra? I'm just the messenger. We have the Hermit at the bottom of the deck. So, if not a fire sign, I mean, you could be dealing with possibly a Virgo. We have Earth energy here. We also have the Moon. So Pisces, Cancer, maybe significant. But we have a lot of fire. So um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. If you are dealing with a fire sign, um, if you're waiting on a fire sign, this person is well aware. They're well aware that you're waiting on them. They could be figuring out a situation. So maybe they're trying to grow. They're trying to expand in some way. Maybe they're trying to move. That's a possibility. Um, they have to shake things up. They have to make some changes, um, but they're struggling to do that. So I'm seeing a fire sign energy who is struggling to make some changes or to expand and grow, um, explore new territories, do things different. So this could be a very stubborn individual, someone who's set in their ways, um, I am looking at someone who has a lot of past baggage and they're struggling to make changes, basically. Um, yeah, I'm getting a very stubborn energy. So this may not be you. It really may not be you, Libra. This could be someone you're dealing with. So... You may pull back from this person. If you're dealing with this person, you may not want to deal with them. If you're married to this person, yeah, I mean, you could be pulling back with the Hermit and the Hierophant. You definitely may move in a different direction. You definitely may take some you time. So if you're married, this can be a separation. I mean, look at this energy. Look at the majors. We have the Hermit, the Hierophant, the Devil, and the Tower. So, I mean, this is pretty powerful. My goodness. We have Virgo, we have Taurus, we have Capricorn, Aries, Scorpio, a lot of fire here in this spread. 
We also have Pisces, Cancer, Earth Energy, a lot of Taurus with the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress with the Hierophant. We have the King of Swords here. Oh my goodness, look at this energy. I could just keep going. Queen of Pentacles, the Empress, King of Swords, and there's the Emperor. Wow, so we've got the Empress with the Emperor. We have a King of Swords sitting in between them. This could be someone's ex, or this could be someone who is causing you problems or helping you with a problem. This can be a professional. Maybe it's a lawyer for some of you. But this is a lot of people, a lot of characters involved in a situation. So we also have an earth sign here. I'm feeling like this is two different energies here. Queen of Pentacles and then we also have the Empress. King of Swords, the Emperor. King of Wands here in the spread. So, I mean, there could be a lot of people working together, a lot of people involved in a situation. If you're looking at a contract, if you're looking at something and you feel like you should have a professional look at it, do that. Pull back, do your research. There could be something you're not seeing. There's definitely something you're not seeing. Also, what I'm getting with this is this is negative influences. So that could be like within a group setting. That could be at school, at work, but it also could be like in society. I can read this many different ways. So needing to definitely do your own research and and you know um form your own beliefs here don't adopt anybody else's um because that can really be like negative beliefs um negative influences toxic influences um which, you know, with this, I think that you're doing just that. With the Hermit here, the Three of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles, some of you are really pulling back your energy. You're watching also this chaos, this madness, this unraveling, I want to say, of this toxicity. You're watching this play out. For some of you, like maybe even at a distance, um, this is you protecting yourself. Also trying to like kind of make the best of it. I feel like with the Six of Cups as the overall energy, this is a more light, <laughs> definitely a lighter energy, a more playful, sweet, uh, nostalgic sort of energy, reminiscing a lot, thinking back to when times were better, <laughs> uh, more positive. Um, you know, this is reminiscing a lot, thinking about the past, thinking about your children, if you do have children now, grandchildren, planning for the future. Um, if you are this King of Wands, or you're resonating more with this King of Wands, maybe you want to make changes. You may be struggling to do that right now. It's just a weekly reading, but ultimately, I think you will. You know, maybe you have some hurdles here in front of you, and maybe you're making slow progress, but if you want to make changes long term to maybe, um, like where you're living, or where you're working, whatever it is, I think that right now you're making slow progress, but maybe some of you are even thinking about like going back home. Uh, if you do not currently live like near the area you grew up in, you could be strongly considering maybe going back home because I see you thinking about the past here. 
So yeah, this is quite the reading. I was not expecting this. But yeah, at this time, there are some heavier energies that you are dealing with. But you also have this very strong psychic energy here. So listen to your intuition. What is the overall guidance for Libra? Thinker, yeah. Thinker. It's number 44. Let's see if we get any more jumpers for Libra. So you could be thinking about the past. We know that. We also know that you're thinking about the future, the long-term future. So maybe 10 years down the road. Where do you want to be? What do you want to be doing? Do you want to be in this situation still? That's definitely a no. Exchanging gifts, okay. Another sign did have this. So 44 and 27. So you could be thinking about maybe giving someone a gift because you do have the six of cups here as the overall energy. Some of you could be receiving a gift this week and therefore you're thinking about giving this person a gift because maybe they're giving you a gift. So you're thinking about exchanging, giving them one back. Definitely see a lot of thinking now. Yeah, you're in between worlds. So you are you are going through this change, which is which is good. Um, it's a tricky energy, but you are definitely going through this change. Also for me, this card can talk about that gray area. So you could be looking at a situation where there could be, um, it could be a very complex situation and yeah, just know that, you know, maybe something isn't black and white. Um, it could be a very, very complex situation. Okay, we have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So this message for me can talk about signs, omens. Um, keep your eyes open. The universe is guiding you. Yes, there could be some red flags. But we do have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So what you think, you attract. So stay positive. If you're trying to attract someone on your level, try to stay positive. Who is Libra dealing with? Libra, you could be dealing with another Libra or an Aquarius. All right, Libra, so I hope that you find this reading helpful. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. All right, let's move on. Hi, Scorpio. This is Tracy from Northeast Tarot. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. 
I am looking at the week of April 8th through to about the 14th, 2024. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What does Scorpio have coming up for this week, please, Scorpio? You have the moon with the lovers. The page of swords. The seven of cups. Hermit, the Two of Swords, the King of Cups, overall energy is the Three of Cups. Okay. So there definitely may be like a reunion happening here this week we have the queen of wands at the bottom of the deck definitely could be dealing with a leo an aries a sagittarius we also have scorpio cancer pisces gemini virgo coming through queen of wands at the bottom of the deck we have the world Two of Pentacles, the star, maybe an Aquarius is significant. All right, interesting. So this is all about opening up. So being flexible, um, being adaptable. Something huge is, is coming. Um, this is really positive. This is a level up. So maybe within your career. Yeah, this is a level up. And so... Maybe prior, some of you, you could have been holding back or, you know, maybe you were just not open, not not really wanting to be adaptable or flexible with the situation, but that's changing. Um, Queen of Wands has a lot of energy. Um, she represents someone who's very, very motivated. So uh, for some of you, this is you, this is your energy, um, you and maybe a group, maybe your social circle with the three of cups. This can be three or more people involved in a situation. A friendship may be very significant at this time for many of you. Um, maybe you're working with someone and you know, if, if the person that you were dealing with was maybe a little stubborn, set in their ways, not wanting to be um, flexible, that that could be changing. So this can always be someone that you're dealing with. But yeah, this is, this is um, completion with the world, something's done. I feel like this is something huge coming in. And so there's good news. Um, you could be celebrating some news that's coming in also uh it's it's a social energy so you could be going out more this week you could be networking you could be meeting new people mercury's retrograde so you could be bumping into maybe old friends here at this time Let's see. Yeah, they're definitely maybe like an event. This could be like an all day event for some of you. So yeah, maybe, you know, you're out all day and, you know, things go on. You're having so much fun. Things go on. Um, maybe into like the late evening hours for some of you. Also, if you're single, you may meet someone. Um, it's possible that there's an age difference here. So somebody could be 
a lot older. Yeah, somebody may be interested in you. So yeah, if you're single, I think there's opportunities to meet someone. So go out, mingle, because I definitely see an opportunity for love here. Um, yeah, I think that there's a little bit of this... Um, like mysterious sort of energy surrounding this person, this relationship. It may just be a friendship here at this time, um, but I think that there's definitely a curiosity here as far as getting to know each other more. Um, I think it's on both, both ends. You both want to get to know each other more. Um, and for those of you that are doing some online dating, I could be reading for some Scorpios where you met someone online. Um, if you're like on the dating apps, anything like that, this week you could be going out and actually meeting up with this person. I see things going very well. Um, even if there was like a delay with that, I think that um, once you guys get out and actually go out, um, I, I see you having a great time. Just be careful, you know, that this person isn't entertaining others because for some of you, you could be dealing with a person who has a lot of options. But um, I definitely see you being drawn to a particular person. So if you have a lot of options, you're you're definitely being pulled towards like a particular person. Um, one person may really Yeah, one person may really like intrigue you. Um, there's this like very mysterious quality here. Um, there's this curiosity. So yeah, go for it. Um, and with the Queen of Wands, I mean, this is you looking good, feeling good. Some of you are whole all by yourself. You don't need a relationship. You don't need anybody else, but you just want to have a good time. Um, you got it going on or, you know, you could be dealing with someone who's, who's got it going on because this King of Cups certainly could be you. And again, I think that you're definitely, um, very drawn to someone, um, their energy, uh, very, very attracted to this person. For some of you, I think it's both ways. Um, this is definitely a mutual attraction. But if you're dealing with someone who's older, you know, maybe maybe they are trying to hide it. Um, for some of you, if you've been single for a long time or the person you're dealing with has been single for a long time, one of you may be trying to trying to play it cool, trying to hide it. Uh, there could be some fear here. Um, so because there's that fear, you know, they're trying to like play it cool, play it safe, uh, you know. But yeah, there's some really nice energy here. I think it's going to be a very social week for you, really. I see you having a lot of fun. I see opportunities for love, definitely. All right, let's get you an overall guidance card for this week for Scorpio. Interesting. Okay, we have building blocks 28 and then 24 time for a nap. So some of you, you may need a nap first. You need a nap 
once you recharge, once you recharge, and this could be you going into like hermit mode, maybe ignoring this person, that's a possibility, but it could just simply be because you need to sleep. With the moon and the two of swords and the hermit, some of you simply need to recharge your batteries, you need some beauty sleep. Once you're feeling whole again, I mean, that's it, you're out. So um, yeah, recharge your batteries. Again, there could be a delay here, but maybe towards the end of the week here, I see you going out and I really see you having a lot of fun. So yeah, take that time that you need but then go out. You could actually be going out during the day. If it's warm where you are, you could be spending time outdoors. We do have fork in the road at the bottom of the deck. This is 13. So 13 does represent transformation. So a change is definitely coming in, but some of you are at a fork in the road. What is the guidance for Scorpio on the love front? Yeah. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And then playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit a fun to shine. So if you are partnered, uh, if you are partnered, make some time to play, to flirt with your partner, to go out. Yes, you need a nap, you need a break, but um, once you are recharged, I think it's, it's time to make a decision. Do you want to put in the effort basically with fork in the road and building blocks. Many of you will. This is a romantic energy, the moon and the lovers with the sun. This is actually a very romantic energy. All right, let's see, who are you dealing with? Who is Scorpio dealing with? Who is Scorpio dealing with? Here. So Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. We also have Virgo here, Leo as well, Scorpio coming through. All right, Scorpio, so I hope that you find this reading helpful. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. All right, let's move on. Sagittarius. Hi Sagittarius, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. I am looking at the week of April 8th through to about the 14th, 2024. This is for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Oh, the Ace of Wands. What does Sagittarius have coming up for this week, please? Sagittarius. The Lovers. You could be dealing with a Scorpio because they just had the Lovers in the same position. Maybe some of you are Cuspers. All right, what does Sagittarius have coming up for this week? The Six of Wands. The 
the seven of coins or seven of pentacles. Okay, we have the seven of wands. So sevens could be significant. The nine of pentacles. The nine of wands. The two of swords. Overall energy is the eight of swords. with the Page of Wands. All right. Interesting. So I see news coming in. Could be from an earth sign, Queen of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. So there's news coming in, but the overall energy, Sag, is the Eight of Swords. So for some of you, this is you not moving. You're not taking action. There could be something that you don't want to see. You don't want to know the truth or you don't, yeah, you don't want to see someone or something. So maybe someone is trying to like reunite with you. They're trying to tell you something, but yeah, maybe there's a history here. This person may have hurt you. We have the hermit. Maybe a Virgo is significant. Strong Virgo coming through, Sag. So yeah, this could be you wanting to be alone. You feel betrayed or hurt. Some of you, you could be physically recovering. So yeah, if you are physically recovering, you know, you don't need the drama. You don't need the drama. So this can just be you not doing nothing. It's as simple as that. You're not moving. There could be an opportunity here in front of you. Some of you may want it. Others, you may not want it. For some of you, there's an opportunity in front of you, but maybe you're unaware of it. So that's interesting. So this could be on the love front. Maybe someone is interested in you. They may adore you. They're really interested in you, but you know, maybe you're just not seeing it. Maybe you don't see the potential. Uh, for some of you, that's what this is. Maybe they're not your usual type. There's this defensive energy here with the seven of wands and then the nine of wands. Nine of pentacles. You may have money. You may be very successful. This could be your energy here, queen of pentacles. And so, yeah, maybe... Maybe you think that this person is interested in you because of your money, um, because of your title, uh, the position that you sit in. So, yeah, there's this defensive energy here. I see you having strong boundaries. I, I see you thinking about this. So you're unsure. Some of you are scared. You've been deeply hurt. You don't want to get hurt again. And so with the Ace of Wands and the Lovers, this is a very strong attraction. So I think that the opportunity for love is there if you want it. I think that there is an opportunity here for love if you want it. If not love... It's a passionate energy. I think there is some sort of opportunity here. There definitely could be someone that's interested in you. They could be flirting with you. Quite a lot here at this time. Yeah, 
I feel like I'm reading for some Sages where you have someone around you that's really interested in you, but you're on the fence. That's really what this is. You're on the fence. You just don't know. So maybe, you know, maybe you like being around this person. They're fun. They're flirty. They give you a lot of attention, but you're sitting on the fence here. You're just not sure. You need more time. You need more information. And if this is not on the love front, this could be with like a business possibility. Some sort of opportunity here that's in front of you. But I think that you need more information. Let's see. Let's clarify the eight of swords here. Some of you may feel blocked or stuck. Please clarify. Okay. Main male and mature woman. So looking at the eight of swords, we have a main male and a mature woman. So that could be someone's mother, could be a mother-in-law. There could be a mature woman who's significant. It also could be your energy. If you're an older woman or a mature woman, that could be your energy. Could be dealing with a main male. This is fear. This is worrying unnecessarily here with the Eight of Swords. So there's a situation going on with the masculine energy. Some of you are maybe overthinking it, overanalyzing, overthinking. Maybe you're thinking someone lied to you. That doesn't mean that they did. Maybe you're just thinking about the situation too much. Some of you could be um, thinking the worst, really, with the Eight of Swords. The Nine of Wands here with the Two of Swords. This can be paranoia. So it could be you or someone you're dealing with. Maybe, you know, this is somebody else. You may have someone around you who's a little paranoid, so just know that. All right, let's get you an overall guidance card for Sagittarius. If you're feeling inspired, though, Sag, to take a chance to step out of your comfort zone, if you're feeling inspired to take action here, do it. Because I see a possibility in front of you, and I think that it has a real potential, but you have to act on it. Never ending story 37, which this is a 10. So if you wanted to start a new cycle right now, you could. I feel like for some of you, this is you holding yourself back, which is not really a sad quality. It's really not. Um, but for some of you, I mean, this is you needing to step out of your comfort zone. If you want this Ace of Wands, you would have to act on it. Maybe you feel like you're going round and round with somebody. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Come to the edge. If you want this, you're going to have to take that leap of faith. You're going to have to maybe try something new. 36. This is really all about like moving out of your comfort zone planting that seed with the ace of wands seven of pentacles all right what is the guidance on the love front for sagittarius what is the guidance love yourself First, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So love yourself first. Put yourself first. 
ground your energy, control your thoughts, believe in yourself. If there's something you want, go after it. We have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So on the love front, I mean, this can be things progressing. Things may be progressing slowly, but this is things progressing. Let's see, who is Sagittarius dealing with? Who is Sagittarius dealing with? We have Gemini. Let's see, we have Gemini. We really have all elements here. Okay. We have, let's see, Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and then we have Aries coming through. Scorpio. All right, Sagittarius, so I hope that you find this reading helpful. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. All right, let's move Hi, on. Hi, Capricorn. This is Tracy from Northeast Tarot. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. I am looking at the week of April 8th through to about the 14th, 2024. This is for Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. First card out is the Four of Wands, Capricorn. The King of Wands. What does Capricorn have coming up for this week, please, Capricorn? The Ace of Coins. The Nine of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles, it did land in the reverse. For some of you, it may be in the reverse. The Moon. Strength and the Two of Pentacles. All right, what is the overall energy for the week? Too many. For Capricorn, what is the overall energy, please? Ooh, the world, look at this reading. So something is done. This is a level up, this is success. For some of you, there's this achievement. Page of Swords. So yeah, maybe some of you are done with school or, or a job because we have this new possibility, this new seed that you're planting. Um, interesting. So some of you, you've been working at night. That could be coming to an end. There's a chapter that's coming to a close here. Um, if you are working during the day and that's something you don't like, um, you know, maybe some of you are going to be working at night now. Um, I definitely see working at night. This is very significant. Um, some of you work at night. You may actually have multiple jobs. So maybe you work during the day and at night because you've got the two of coins here. So I see you juggling. I see you multitasking. Some of you are planting a new seed. This could be with you traveling for a living. You know, that could be a number of different things. You may travel to um, like other states or other countries. Some of you may be drivers. You've got the page of swords here at the bottom of the deck. Six of cups, the star, ooh, the sun. Five of Swords, though. Five of Swords with the Empress. Ooh, and Seven of Swords. Seven of Cups. So sneaky energy 
deceptive energy with this empress. So this could be a Libra, could be possibly a Taurus, but you have a lot of ear surrounding the empress. So if this person is not deceptive, it could be that they're dealing with an ear sign who is, that's a possibility. This is a little bit of like bullying, nasty sort of low vibe energy. So um, I don't know if you're dealing with a female. I don't know if your mom is going through something, you, your mom. Somebody could be going through something. Uh, if you are a mother, it could be that your child is going through something. Maybe they're being bullied. I do see a lot of healing energy around this situation. So yeah, maybe there was some drama, some, some issues here. I feel like you're going to work through these issues. There's a tremendous amount of healing energy here. So yeah, that's interesting. Something going on with a mom. But with the world in this position, um, this is you feeling whole. This is you leveling up. Uh, a chapter is done. Something's coming to a close. With the Page of Swords, uh, there could be a delay here. If there is something going on um, with the child, there could be a delay here. But um, that's all it is. It's just a delay. So needing to be flexible here at this time. Also know that not all is known. You've got the moon and the spread. So things still need to come to light. Not all is known. Information is going to come in. News is going to come in. For some of you, this is a work situation. It may involve a king of wands. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Strong Leo. So yeah, needing to stay positive um, with strength here. This is all about being strong, um, you know, stepping up, um, finding that inner courage um, at the right time. But it's also all about um, showing grace through difficult times. And so with the nine of swords, for some of you, this may feel like a nightmare or you're losing sleep over this. Some of you are working nights. Um, this is all about balancing your thoughts controlling your thoughts, not thinking the worst, not letting your fears get the best of you, overcoming your fears, making a decision, planting the seed, Some of you are maybe taking a job or maybe even like moving into a place. This can be moving house, but there's for some reason uncertainty here. So, you know, maybe you're moving into a neighborhood that you don't know or there's some sort of uncertainty here around um, like a living situation or a work situation. So I don't know why that would be. Maybe you're moving into a place and there's like no contract, no lease, no nothing. So just, you know, be obviously cautious here. Um, be careful. Do your research. Listen to your intuition. 
you may be dealing with a fire sign who's maybe not revealing everything. This person could be hiding something. So yeah, if you are taking a job or you're moving house, and maybe some of you worked like very hard to get to this point, just be careful, you know, if you're dealing with someone and, you know, the vibes are off, um, something feels a little off. Somebody may have an agenda. Don't let anybody take advantage of you or mistreat you. So yeah, quite the interesting reading. For others, I feel like you're maybe losing sleep. There could be something that you're overthinking. Others, you're maybe working at night. I see you working very hard. I see you planting a new seed. And there's some sort of uncertainty around a family matter, around a home or a job. There is this like uncertain energy. But with the world that's over with, this is a chapter that's coming to a close. It's just you know a matter of time. Divine timing is definitely at play here. But I like how we see the infinity symbol here on strength. You also see it here with the two of pentacles. So what you put into something, you will definitely see a return on that. So just keep working hard. What is the overall guidance for Capricorn, please, for this week? Flexible, yeah. 19. Needing to be flexible which we definitely see you doing. Some of you will have to balance your thoughts here, your fears, but you have strength. So we see you doing that. Blessed. So a lot of people are getting this card. It's such a beautiful card. You are blessed, 22, which is a four. So we do see stability coming in. What is the guidance on the love front for Capricorn? What is the guidance? Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. And then true love. Okay, this is the romance of a lifetime. So maybe you're manifesting true love. You definitely could be, could be calling someone in that's on your level. And with the world, I mean, you're leveling up. So, um, yeah, you definitely could be attracting someone that's on your level. Someone that's going to be loyal. Let's see, who is Capricorn dealing with? Capricorn. You could be dealing with another Capricorn or a Virgo. All right, Capricorn. So I hope that you find this reading helpful. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. All right, let's move on. All right, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Hi, Aquarius. This is Tracy from Northeast Tarot. 
welcome to your weekly tarot reading i am looking at the week of april 8th through to about the 14th 2024 what does aquarius have coming up aquarius so we do have the world the six of swords for some of you you may feel like that's in the reverse The King of Cups and the Knight of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups. Nine of Wands, the Ace of Swords. What is the overall energy, please, for Aquarius? The Six of Wands. All right, so I like the sixes here. It does represent a more harmonious energy. You've got the King and the Queen of Cups showing up, Aquarius. You've got the Eight of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. So sixes... Eights may be significant. Both are even numbers. Eight is a karmic number. So you definitely could be letting go of whatever is no longer serving you. Making some cuts here at this time. And by you doing that, you're creating space here for new beginnings this could be new love for some of you that's coming in could be with a water sign scorpio cancer pisces we have ear and we have water yeah this is definitely something ending you have the eight of cups and you've got death for some of you, it could be a Scorpio. So you could be letting go of a Scorpio. And maybe you're going through this process. So this can be you, Aquarius, like emotionally detaching. This is a process. It won't be overnight. For some of you, you may up and leave, no doubt, because the first two cards out here are the world and the six of swords, which can indicate physical travel. Some of you may move. So if you're living together, this can be you like moving out of the house, literally leaving. Um, you may do this super fast. Others, this is a process. This can be you emotionally letting go, detaching. It's going to take some time. There's a lot of fear here. Some of you are worried about money. So yeah, it's a process. Maybe some of you need time to save money. If you're trying to get out of a relationship or a living situation. So if it's not a relationship, this also can be like a job, a living situation. I feel like some of you need time. This is you working. I feel like you're trying to maybe save money. You're trying to come up with maybe enough money. It's a very stressful situation. My apologies for that. So... Somebody could be helping you, a family member, somebody around you could be helping you because this is money coming in. So now we see the fours. Look at this. We've got the fours. I could just keep going, Aquarius. We've got justice with the three of swords. So this is justice being served. If someone hurt you or ignored you or blocked you, whatever it is, caused you pain, betrayed you. This is justice coming in. This is healing your heart. There's a new beginning, planting a seed to feel more secure, a job that you love, a job that pays you more money and makes you feel for more financially secure. This is a nightmare that's coming to an end. So some of you, you've been working a job or you've been working at night. There's been some sort of nightmare that's been ongoing, but I feel like it's done. First card out is the world. It's done. This is actually really, really positive, really good. So this is success. You've got um, multiple cards here, Aquarius, uh, representing success, victory. This is 
triumph triumph here after dealing with some drama um some difficulties you know maybe some of you even had to like fight for this win but this is a win could be a legal win we just seen uh justice at the bottom of the deck so this can be a legal win also uh, a contract um a document something could have been signed something could have been um, like put into place here if somebody was bothering you for example it could be like restraining order something putting uh, um, like a blockage on another person where they can't get to you uh, I am seeing that so yeah change is coming in Change is coming in, but this nightmare is coming to an end. It may be a little scary, definitely. It may be a little scary, but this can be recognition coming your way. You may be in the spotlight here, Aquarius, this week, so just know that. Some of you, because you've been hurt in the past, um... You're still like healing. You're still letting go of everything that went down in the past. You're definitely going through this transitional time. And so, um, you know, this may be a good thing or others you, you may not want to be in the spotlight. I'm seeing that. But it's here. So this is recognition for others. Um this can be you feeling quite proud, very proud of yourself. You dealt with this, you worked hard to come out of this situation, and your hard work is paying off. You may have, you may have a king of cups, which really this could be any sign. So if not a water sign, I mean it could be, it could be an air sign. Really any sign. You may have someone who's chasing you. You may have someone who's spying on you. Um, this can be uh, a very loud energy. So maybe you're doing a lot on social media this week. This person definitely could be watching you. We've got the King of Cups looking directly at the Knight of Swords. Um, you may have blocked this person. Just know if you did block this person, they're still watching you. So they may have like, um, like a fake account or something like that. I'm seeing it. So yeah, if you blocked a particular person and you're just very focused on your work and doing your own thing, they're still watching you. So just know that. Yep, they're still watching you. They're trying to come back in. Um, Mercury's retrograde. Yeah, I see someone um, trying to come back your way. This is chasing energy. You're trying to move this way. This is how I'm seeing this, Aquarius. You're done. You're trying to move forward. This person's trying to move back. So I got one of you <laughs> trying to move forward, and I've got the other one trying to move back towards the past. So, you know, um, that could be you. That could be them. You have to take it however it resonates. Um, but again, I'm seeing someone be blocked here. These two people, yes, they're of the same suit, but these two people are not looking at each other. They both have their backs towards each other. Um, there's other people, other energies, other things that are going on that are coming in between you guys. One of you, like I said, is very focused on the future and the other one is very focused on the past. So... Some of you Aquarians, you're done. You're leveling up within your career. Some of you are moving. You got a lot, a lot going on here. You've got success coming your way. And then we have someone else over here. That is very focused on the past. They may even be a little angry. Um, this person, if you're ignoring their calls... 
when you finally do maybe bump into them or talk to them, they may not be the nicest. So just know that. What is the overall guidance for Aquarius? If you're absolutely single and you're leveling up within your career, you got a lot going on. You may have a love interest around you that is going to give you a lot of attention this week. I'm not sure if you want it. So that's going to be different for all of you. Some of you are very guarded. Okay. Yeah, look at that. We've got round and round 25. This person is trying to go round and round with you again. They're trying to come back your way. TikTok. Divine timing is at play. Chaos and conflict, 33. Do you want this? That's on you. If you do want to go round and round with this person, I think that... It's only a matter of time before stuff hits the fan. This is drama. This is drama. All right. What is the guidance on the love front? What is the guidance? This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So some of you, you may want this. You may want this person to come back your way. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. But I think that if this is an ex, if this is someone that you dealt with in the past, they have some other stuff going on. So um, if things are moving along with you and this is something you really want, maybe they have something going on with like one of their exes. Maybe they're hung up on the past in some way. Let's see. Who is Aquarius dealing with? Who is Aquarius dealing with? Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and water. Definitely getting the water. So, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. All right, Aquarius, I hope that you find this reading helpful. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. All right, let's Hi, move on. Pisces, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. I am looking at the week of April 8th through to about the 14th, 2024. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What does Pisces have coming up for this week, please? Pisces. First card out is the Knight of Cups. Pisces, what does Pisces have coming up? The Three of Swords, it is almost in the reverse. So that is in the reverse. For some of you, we have the Magician. The Eight of Wands. Queen of Pentacles, the King of Wands, <laughs> the Seven of Swords, the Knight of Wands. What is the overall energy for Pisces, please, for this week? What is the overall energy? The Hierophant, okay. All right. 
We have the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this nostalgic sort of energy is like everywhere. I don't know if that's because Mercury's retrograde, but I'm just seeing it um, across the board here with the weekly readings. For this week in particular, I did see it a little bit with the monthly readings that I did. If you didn't watch the monthly reading, I will link it here in the video. But this can be someone from your past that is returning or trying to return. If not an ex, it can be an old friend. You've got the sixes here at the bottom. So another sign had the sixes. I think they had fours as well. So watch your other signs. I like sixes in a reading. The more sixes, the better. Um, this is a very balanced, harmonious energy. It's the energy shifting in a positive way. It's a lighter energy. So um, if you've been dealing with like a heavier energy, heavy situations, this is things lightening up. This is definitely the energy feeling a lot lighter. So yeah, this is nice. Two of Swords with the Queen of Wands, the Nine of Swords, which is also another energy that keeps showing up. Nine of Swords, the, the Page of Cups, Page of Wands. So maybe you have um, a child or children. There could be a situation with children, something that's been very stressful with the Nine of Swords. Also, you know, you could be dealing with a fire sign, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Maybe this is family. Maybe it's a sibling for some of you. There could be a situation um, going on with a family member and maybe their children. You could be reuniting with a family member or a friend. The Queen of Wands also can be your energy. But the overall energy is the Hierophant. So with the Hierophant, this can be a couple of different things. This is all about your beliefs and also all about like doing things by the book, following the rules, doing what is expected of you. Um, I can talk about a commitment. Some of you could be making a commitment or you could be getting married. That's a possibility um, or engaged. For some of you, this can be getting engaged. If you are dealing with a fire sign or somebody who comes off like a fire sign, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, somebody's very attractive, this person may have hurt you, but I see an apology. Um, yeah, so I feel like with this Three of Swords being in the reverse um, and the Knight of Cups being the first card out, I am getting apology vibes here. This is someone who's coming to see you, or you could be doing this, you could be going to see someone. Um, they may not want to see you, or you may not want to see them, but I feel like communication will get through in some way. This person is going to be able to apologize. So I'm reading for some Pisces where you're getting back together, you're making a commitment. Yeah, somebody could have lied. Somebody could have hurt you. We see your heart healing. The Hierophant is a more traditional, conservative energy, and you've got the Queen of Pentacles sitting here on the spread. So this could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. For some of you, it's you. You can embody the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. And we've seen a couple of pages there at the bottom of the deck. So um, you may have a family. 
You may have a family with this person. If they were avoiding marriage, anything like that, um, that could be changing. We have the King of Wands looking directly at the Queen of Pentacles. So th this person, I feel like this person, even if you know you had your problems with them in the past, I feel like they're all about you. So they're turning their back to you know their player ways. This person definitely could be changing. You could be changing, you know, if this is your energy. Um, I feel like they're all about you. So yeah, Pisces, either you or the person that you're dealing with, I feel like somebody is changing. They're growing, they're evolving. You could be helping this person grow and evolve. The Hierophant is the teacher and the student. You definitely could be helping somebody um, like grow and evolve. This could be spiritually. This could be religiously. Uh, their beliefs could be changing. Uh, their values could be changing. In particular, um, a king of wands here which may not be a fire sign. You know, they could be any sign, really. We have all elements here. Um, water, we have air, we have fire, we have earth. Um, Gemini, Virgo, Taurus coming through, Sagittarius. But yes, yeah, somebody's beliefs definitely could be changing. This person is creating change in their life. They have everything they need. This could be you doing this. You could be a strong influence in somebody's life. This could be even a child or a teenager, a young adult. Um, that's significant. And you're helping them. Maybe you're helping um, one of your kids or grandkids. You could be helping someone go to school. working with maybe the group, working with an organization. Somebody is definitely in touch with their higher self. God, whatever you believe in. This is uh, some spiritual energy here around this situation. I feel like um, somebody has turned their back on their player ways. Somebody definitely may be ready to settle down, to learn, to grow. They're ready. All right, let's get you guidance for Pisces. What is the overall guidance, please? But yeah, um, other Pisces, I feel like some of you may have like a winning strategy here as far as moving forward. This can be like moving house. This can be moving up within your career. This is physical travel for some of you. Um, there could be something you're learning. Uh, there could be closure coming in. Yeah, again, there's something you're learning, maybe something you're signing. Some of you are physically traveling. You could be moving house. This is very positive. You have everything you need when it comes to moving forward, basically. So just believe in yourself. Um, you may be the Queen of Pentacles, which is very focused on her coins, very focused on home, family, her surroundings, all of that which um, Venus just entered Aries. And so, yeah, I feel like a lot of people can resonate with that right now. We are, you know, maybe you are making some changes in your house. Could be doing like some spring cleaning. A lot of cards here, I'm gonna choose from these. Could be donating. Some of you are donating with this energy. There could be a charity that maybe you're helping. 
Okay, we have breathe. Just breathe, 29. Everything is going to be okay. We do have observer at the bottom of the deck. 49, so 29 and 49. So the guidance here for some of you is to just breathe and observe. So pay attention to your surroundings. Pay attention to the words that are being said to you. There's a lot to learn with the situation. Also, you may be a teacher in some way. You may be a teacher and you may have people observing you. Maybe some of you are feeling a little nervous here, so work on your breathing. But yeah, some of you, maybe you're a teacher, maybe you teach for a living. Let's see. What is the guidance for Pisces on the love front? What is the guidance? Very interesting. Uh, I thought this was a cat, but I'm looking a little closer here. It actually may be a fox. Honestly, I'm not sure. It may be a fox. I thought it was a cat. So interesting. You may have, you may have like a sneaky individual Pisces around you. Or of course, you know, this could be your energy. It's not always bad. So when I say sneaky, that doesn't automatically, you know, mean anything bad. Really, it doesn't. But we have observer, we have time for a nap. And then, oh yeah, look at that. Never, end, never ending story. So um, maybe it's time to put something to bed. If something's not working out, if something's like never ending and it's negative. Interesting. So observe. All right. What is the guidance for Pisces on the love front? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So maybe, maybe some of you, you may meet someone at work. Uh, keep an open mind. It may be a time to learn, to observe. Let this person maybe approach you. Let's see, who is Pisces dealing with? Pisces, you could be dealing with another Pisces and then we have Scorpio. All right, Pisces, so I hope that you find this reading helpful. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. I do wanna thank all of you for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. If you find this reading helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And again, make sure you are subscribed. You can also become a member. I do weekly and monthly readings for my members. Uh, if you are interested in having a private reading, all of my information is listed down below. Go check us out on Facebook, Instagram. I'm also on TikTok. All right, wishing you guys a great week. Talk to you soon.